Hey, what is up guys? I'm back today, um, and I'm pretty much going to be doing a small marketplace build today. Uh, it's going to be pretty similar to my other marketplace video, but I just want to show you guys just to keep you up to date with what's going on. So let's get right into it. Um, this one's going to be a bit simpler than my sanctuary one, since this is more of a smaller settlement so it's gonna be simpler but pretty much the same concept so I'm gonna build this platform get it as straight as possible start slapping these in here okay these don't want to snap Oh, I know what it is. There we go. Now it should work. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Um, the grass is kind of messy. I wish you could take that out, but it'll be fine. Now I'm just going to use these little prefabs here. I'm going to get pretty close to the edge. Probably about right there. Make sure it's pretty straight. There we go. And then we're going to have a middle area and then another prefab all right looks okay and then on oh wait facing the wrong way and then on this end i'm going to have a one of these just for kind of a storage area i guess Go ahead and start putting the walls in. Now, th this can be one shop if you want it to be. Um, it can be like one big shop, or you could have three. Um, but I'm I'm just doing two. So you could have the general trader and like a doctor. I feel like that's all the settlement really needs. Got a generator right there. See if I get these stairs to go on. Nice. There we go. I love these snares because they snare stairs because they snap into the ground really well. All right, and then the sides a bit higher, so I'll just throw those on there. So it's looking pretty good already, and so I'll have to rug glitch the. Uh, the actual shops in there and then I'm gonna actually divide the shops like this Ooh, it actually just wants to go in alright that's that makes things a lot easier so kinda divides the two shops so that's the basic structure and then you put the shops in and decorate and that's what I'm gonna do and just in case some people don't know how to do the rug glitch I'll uh, I'll show you how to do that really quick I'll try to get it to work um, it's pretty hit and miss um, to actually get it to work and it doesn't work on some objects like um, snappable objects like prefabs or anything like that but pretty much all furniture and decorations and all the shops work with the rug glitch. So I'll see if I can get it to work. So pretty much what you want to do is get it to go on the rug and it'll actually snap to the rug and use the collision of the rug instead of the actual shop like this. As you can see, the rug is green, so it's actually using the collision of this 
instead of the actual shop so I can pretty much place it anywhere I want to but I'm gonna place it right here just like this and go inside and straighten it like that so push that out a little bit make the sign look better see how that looks uh, I could probably push it out a little more see how this one okay so it doesn't look bad except for this right here but if I took a little more time I could get it to look pretty good but I just wanted to show you guys the rug glitch really quick and now I'm gonna decorate and I will see you soon okay guys I'm back I just finished decorating and I couldn't think of a clever name so I just named it shops but that's not the point so I'll give you guys a quick tour and I hope you guys enjoyed this build and if you did you know please leave a like subscribe and I will catch you guys soon.